be showing you how to dissolve salicylic acid. Here I have two types of salicylic acid. I have the salicylic acid USP, the pomegranate. This um, comes in like a powder, a smooth powder form. And then the normal salicylic crystals that we know. So I'm going to be dissolving, I'm going to be starting by, I'm going to be dissolving them side by side. I'll start by dissolving them with um, sodium lactate. This is my sodium lactate. So let's go right in. I'll measure out this. Just I just need two grams of this. grams of this I don't need to heat um salicylic acid USP with with um, sodium lactate I don't need to heat it I'll just set this aside as I'm doing the other things you will watch how it will cl get clear without me having to heat it so I'll just stir, stir it to make the process faster you can see it's already getting clear already getting clear so i'll just keep it i don't need to heat it this this um, grade of salicylic acid is very good see it's already dissolving clear. so the next i'm going to try and dissolve with sodium lactate is the normal crystal salicylic acid For this I have to heat if I'm using sodium lactate to dissolve this I have to heat so I'll so when I'm making a water bath trying to heat um, the sodium lactate and the salicylic acid the other one to dissolve you see this one's already getting very clear I don't know if you can see it it's already getting very clear when I'm making the um, while I'm trying to heat the other one, I'm going to go right into dissolving with propylene glycol. So I'll start with this. Then I will also try dissolving the crystal one with propylene glycol. So these are the two. These are the two. If I keep this without having to heat so much that's the one the USP salicylic acid it will dissolve clear if I keep it maybe overnight it will dissolve clear but um, I will have to heat the propylene the crystal salicylic acid with propylene glycol so I'm back with um, this one is um, sodium lactate and the crystal salicylic acid you see it's very clear very very clear so you have to heat this. You have to dissolve it with the aid of heat. And then this one is propylene glycol with salicylic acid. It's also very, very clear. Very, very clear. You have to heat this. Why the USP? You can see I didn't have to heat. As you can see, it's still, it has almost dissolved clear. It just needs some time. You can sit it for about two hours and everything will turn clear. 
the next thing i'll be dissolving with is um propanadiol one three so i'll start with um sp cyclic acid usp so i'm just going to put in some here In the case of this one, unlike the propylene glycol and the sodium lactate, I will need to heat. Even if I'm dissolving um, the USP salicylic acid or the crystal um, a kind of salicylic acid. I will have to heat the both of them. So this is my propanodial solution. They are all clear after dissolving with salicylic acid. So I've been able to show you how to dissolve with propanodial, so sodium lactate, and propylene glycol. So I'm also going to show you how to dissolve with castor oil. So the next I'm going to be dissolving is um, castor oil. So I will measure out my USP as usual. And I'll also measure out my crystal salicylic acid. I'm actually going through the stress of also showing you how to do it with this second one because I know that is what is popular but this one is the one I like to use so I'm adding in my castor oil So I will just hit them a little bit, double boil them, and then I'll show you what they look like. So this is it. Cast up oil and salicylic you can see it dissolved very very clear you can add this into an oil so the next thing we are going to be dissolving after castor oil is going to be salicylic acid and glycerin <clears throat> so the last solvent i'll be showing you for salicylic acid today is glycerin but there are many other solvents that you can use and dissolve salicylic acid uh, I'm going to start with my salicylic acid USP as usual. And then the crystal kind of salicylic acid. So depending on what you're formulating for, you can use any of these solvent if you don't want to heat you can use sodium lactate this is glycerin this is also glycerin so i'm just going to give this USP because it's in a powder form. I'm going to give it a little stir. And then I'll go and heat them. So this is my glycerin. You see, it's very, very clear. This is the normal crystal salicylic acid inside glycerin. It's very clear. End of today, I've been able to show you how to dissolve the USP salicylic acid and the crystal kind of salicylic acid. I've been able to show you how to dissolve in propanadiol, sodium lactate, castor oil, glycerin, and um, propylene glycol. 
So you can choose any of this. If you're making something that is strictly oil, you can use castor oil. If you're making something that um, maybe you don't want to put propanadiol or what you have is, depend on what you have, you can use any of solvents that I've shown you in this video. Thank you for watching.